Dubs, what's brewing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. How has your day been? Mine's been a hot one. I stepped outside at 6.45 this morning to walk to work and it was already just stifling. And I looked at the weather and I was like, okay, it says um, 36, 37. That's, that's lower than it has been. 37 is 100 degrees, right? And I was like, okay, that's not, that's not going to be too bad. We're fine. And if you saw my uh, Twitter <laughs> underneath, it was like, oh, the humidity today is going to have a real feel of 51 degrees. <laughs> 51 degrees C. I can't even remember what that translated to. I think it was like 120 something. I was just like, really? Really? And there's warnings that it's going to get hotter. So <laughs> cheers. May we all survive. So, Foodie has blessed us with a grocery haul. Foodie has blessed us with some dubious things in the last couple of days. She's been giving us health content of her working out to uh, Jane Fonda. There's randomly a chair in the background today. Apparently, she was too lazy to move it. Like, how can you be too lazy to take a full ash chair off your sofa? But anyway, let's not get ahead of myself. So, we're going to stick with this one because... There was a lot of kind of sped up uh, filler content of her showing her exercising. So there wasn't that much to discuss in the other ones. And a grocery haul, at least we can take a look at what's going on. So without further ado, because I would like to edit this at some point, let's get into it. Hello, guys. Hello. Welcome back to another video. I still have my chair up there because I'm lazy, so. Yeah. <laughs> It's literally what, an Ikea equivalent chair, you could probably lift it with two fingers, what are you doing? Actually, I've been distracted from life, I've uh, been escaped. Exactly what life are we talking about? And today in watching season two of the show From, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but... I haven't, but horror isn't really my bag. Um, what is she escaping from? The hard work life she has, her nine to five job, her extensive charity work. Like, what is she doing right now? If you like spooky TV shows, let me tell you. You gotta watch it. Okay. So I don't like I them, but thank you for the recommendation. Just a mini grocery haul um, for you guys. Now, um, I say mini because I know this is gonna sound weird and... Weird? Or you just don't know how to explain it, so you're trying to minimize it? Like, maybe entitled, but... I don't want to cook like right now i'm just like not in the mood to cook i don't know when i'll be in the mood to cook i get not being in the mood to cook but ever do you remember a few days ago was it when she was like i thought i had more time i've got to... now i've learned now i've learned that you got to take diabetes seriously not seriously enough to cook my own meals though that's going to be an ongoing theme not seriously enough to in this whole grocery haul um, I'm just not feeling it. And, like, I find that you can eat such good food takeout-wise, like, for so cheap that, like, to buy all the ingredients and, like, let's say I want, like, a, fi a, a nice fish dinner, you know? Like, to buy all the ingredients to make it and to not even be able to come close to tasting, like, how you could get it at the restaurant... There's just no point, like... <laughs> so that's her excuse. Now, I will say there are places that do sell food very cheap. Um, a friend of mine goes to a Turkish restaurant near here and can get a really good meal for a couple of real. So there are very cheap places you can go, but the kind of food you're going to get there is the kind of food that's killing her. So it's going to be the hubcaps of rice. It's going to be the large meals with lots of fried food. Because a lot of the traditional meals are rice, meat, bread, some kind of sauce. And that's not going to work for our health long term. And she still will not accept that. But also in terms of like, oh, things are much more expensive in the store. Not if you make any effort to shopping right. And it's not like she hasn't got time to budget. Purposely in this grocery haul gotten a load of imported things and they are very expensive but you can get them cheaper i just find that like groceries are like more expensive than eating out here sometimes so um 
and the effort and the cleaning and no, 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 no. No, I can't make efforts so on my health. We just get for groceries like drinks, um, for me water, but for salad drinks. There are some things in here for him. Don't forget he's a normal weight and he has a normal blood sugar. Every single time we have heard from her, this is for Salah. We've either caught her eating it later or she admits she ate it. So yeah, it might be for Salah. It might also be your brain convincing you, you know what, I'll get that for Salah. I'll share that with Bibi. Oh, this is for Pete later. So you can eat it all because you know you will. But also, but um, he is cutting back and that's good on like sugary stuff. Um, sort of. <laughs> but anyway, sort so of. we just get like, um, top ups of things, like little staple things. And so I'll show you some of those things here. So the soda um, staples, yeah, tell me. It's a really small haul, but I just thought I would share with you. I love watching grocery hauls. I could watch them all day. I actually don't mind watching grocery hauls. I find them quite enjoyable. Uh, she spends more time justifying than she just showing things half the time. So, but I suppose that's part of the fun of being here. The only thing I don't like about getting my groceries from this place here is they seal the bags, which is good, but then you can't reuse them really. Most places will give you the option to not have plastic bags. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but... Probably. Oh. Okay, they do open. I presume user error when around. it comes to pretty much anything. Right, so the first thing is some Ziploc bags. I have, like, <laughs> I haven't, I have never bought these since being in Kuwait. And these were like, used to be a staple in Canada when, you know, when I was living at the villa. But mm -hmm. yeah, like, I like to, I need these to freeze something. So those are just sandwich bags. There are a thousand brands that, I know Ziploc is, is kind of a standard uh, brand, what's well, standard? It's, it's the well-known one, but there are lots of other good brands here. Things we'll see in a minute. I'm not um, gonna do that for everyone, we'll just look. They always have a special offer on this cheese. You get two packs of the um, Gouda cheese, and it's so creamy, and it's of course so it's delicious. Creamy. I love it. Creamy Gouda, yes. I have actually haven't had cheese, except on my sub from Substop. But I don't like. I haven't eaten cheese in like since being sick, like last week or more than a week now, I guess. But wasn't it supposed to like turn her stomach? And because the doctor said, you know, limit dairy, limit meat, limit things. I usually eat cheese every day. Red meat. Much sorry, misspoke. I mean, it's just like so. We're gonna start again. Too much of it, but I'm sure that'll go well. Yeah. You're known for your ability to resist. So I also got these are so are grape leaves and they have like pomegranates on them with like a pomegranate okay. sauce. So you know how I love stuff wine leaves. Um, I love them. So I also got this was like super expensive. This was like almost I think like about nine dollars. Does she mean nine Canadian? I'm assuming she means nine Canadian, but it is from the USA. Here's the thing I don't understand about this. Hang on. Let her tell you about it and then we'll talk. And it's, um, you know, no sugar added, non-GMO, all that stuff. Peanut butter and co. I've never heard of this brand, but crunchy peanut butter. How is it she's never heard of peanut butter and co. and I have? Is it an American? Oh yeah, it's got seven cents on it. I have heard of that. I don't know why. Okay, so it's crunchy peanut butter, right? Which I get. It's fine. Um, I don't know if she cares particularly about it being crunchy versus smooth or if she just thinks crunchy is more natural. But this is what I don't get. One thing that I saw here and I was like, huh, that's quite common here, is that most big grocery stores will have a machine that just grinds peanuts for you. It doesn't add anything else. Like, you can get completely natural peanut butter with no added anything. Maybe the peanut butter, uh, the peanuts are salted, but like no added anything. And you can get it for cheaper than that. So I guess she's just looking at the label and seeing, ooh, natural crunchy. But you can literally go to the deli and get them to grind the nuts for you. What are you doing spending $9 in any currency on on an imported peanut butter that probably isn't as fresh and isn't as good as something you can get very easily here. 
I've been craving peanut butter. I love peanuts. I know peanuts are not a nut, because I was going to say they're my favorite nut. It's actually a legume, but... Uh, Why are you saying legume like that? <laughs> legume! Like, has someone corrected her on that? Is she irritated? It sounds like she's like, God, a legume! I actually stopped eating peanut butter because I found when I ate it too often. It just something in it in my stomach. I just felt like it was sitting there. Little rocks in my stomach. Not quite sure why. Could just be psychological, but I didn't like it. Um, but I have heard that peanuts particularly can be quite inflammatory. So they're not um, the best nut to eat in that way. I might be wrong on that. I haven't looked it up recently. Um, and again, she's going for all natural or whatever. Uh, but if you're going to waste your money on like imported crap that you could get here perfectly easily... Why not go for, like, a different butter that's less inflammatory? But I know that's kind of a whatever point because she's already, to her mind, making a lot of change here, even though I don't feel like she actually is really, but we'll keep going. But what are you doing in the background, Beeson? Living my life! But Leave me alone! I love peanut butter, and especially, like, if you just are really hungry, like, this with a banana, I swear, is, like, the best food ever so yeah i needed peanut butter i want to make my own peanut butter but get them to do it in the supermarket my dude very easy okay. what is this i forget what i ordered i really do oh yeah how can i forget you <laughs> that's more passion than she's ever shown her marriage <laughs> what you guys this was also kind of expensive but I had to get Jesus, them. Russell, Russell, come on. Break into it. You got this. Um, I got a couple jars of dill pickles. Break into them immediately. Like MF is quite a common brand here, so if they're imported, they're imported from somewhere reasonably close, I do believe. Oh, what a terrible idea for your blood pressure. Oh, yeah. I haven't had an actual dill pickle. Has it occurred to you that it might be a good thing you haven't had a dill pickle in a while? That generally speaking, they are not great for you, and you have a whole host of issues that pickles might not be productive for. Like, I don't think the extra sodium is something you need. Normally, the pickles you'll find here are Lebanese style, and they're delicious. But they don't have dill, you see. Dill is an ingredient here. And the pickles I usually get, they use tarragon instead of dill. So, this is a treat for me. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to say anything there. I'm going to keep on moving. Um, these are... Product of Sri Lanka, yeah, they're, they're they're imported. They're not, you know, from here. Same thing with the peanut butter. <laughs> really? That surprises me. I'm going to have to check that because I see the MF brand so commonly here. I presumed it was Middle Eastern somewhere. Perhaps I'm wrong. She obviously read that from somewhere, so I'll have to take a look. You pay a bit extra. But, like, honestly, the first thing I did when I went to Canada, I got a huge jar of like Vlasic pickles and I would just like every day just take a little dish pour a bit of the juice and like have three or four pickles and just drink the juice I love dill pickle and the juice I love it so please tell me what you think the likelihood is that if she had a big jar of pickles which she claims to love and I believe her that she would limit herself to three to four a day. Have you ever seen her with the capacity for that kind of control? I've never seen it. Now, is that important? In an acute sense, no. In an obvious sense, no. But if you wonder how she ended up in the ER, I used to know somebody who did their surgery around the time I did. And one of the problems she had right after surgery was really low blood pressure. And the doctor said, rather than give you salt pills, just take a shot of pickle juice because it will do the same thing. And so, and she likes pickles. So she was like, oh, great. And she used to 
take shots of the juice to raise her blood pressure because the um, the locational hypertension was getting her because her blood pressure was a little bit too low. Like, foodie, you don't need this. It's worth it. <laughs> what, worth your entire life? When you say worth it, what measure are you using? You thought you had more time. All right. You have to take it seriously. Let's see if I can uh, open the bag. She could have cut this. This All is right, pre-recorded. So I got a thing of whole wheat toast with a vitamin D3. Whole wheat okay. bread. Okay, I mean, the only thing I can say is at least it's whole wheat, but days ago, if that, she was like, no bread at all. No bread. And I think bread. Yeah. I wonder why I would think that. Was it because you said you weren't going to eat it? And because I've got basic common sense? Can you fit whole wheat carbs into a balanced diet as a controlled diabetic? If you are careful. And if you have listened to your doctors and you've talked it over, maybe a dietitian, maybe if you're keeping a proper eye on your blood sugar and it's controlled and after doing a little bit of experimentation, you've seen, OK, if I take it this way, it doesn't spike things too high. Maybe you can have that in moderation. Do you think food has done that work? Because friends. And I got a bunch of these for Salah. These are just like black currant flavored Kinza soda you know it's the soda from Saudi Arabia but it's actually really um, good soda but it's not diet so I will not be eating drinking those this has zero added sugar it's actually small 70% uh, cocoa chocolate Jesus. it's actually small do you think you should be eating that but yet have treats have treats treats again no sugar added whatever but remember just a few days ago when you were like no i didn't think it was gonna last don't get me wrong i'm not stupid but think about how you're setting yourself up here because she knows what she's gonna do she's in complete denial about it now she's got the whole wheel of justification going in her head well, if I do this and I have a bite of this and I'll only have a square down and I'll only have a pickle a day and, you know, a few shots might matter. And then one night she's going to wake up. She's going to binge the lot. And she knows in her heart of hearts, that little voice in the back of the head that's telling her that knows it. So this is like no sugar added. It's just like pure chocolate. So just like to have a square when I'm really craving chocolate. I was craving chocolate bars like so bad. I thought they made so you sick. Bad. Well, not physically, but the thought of them. And I got some blueberries and some raspberries. And these were so expensive. Yeah. So that's why I got the Ziploc bag, so I can freeze them. I'm going to take, like, a little sandwich bag and mix a few of each, like, in the bag and freeze them and have that as, like, a snack. I will also say there's the occasional sale on Driscoll. There are. Um, but there are other brands that you see in the supermarket that are way cheaper for blueberries because I've been buying blueberries as, as my fruit because I don't eat a lot of fruit, I eat more vegetables. Um, but I've been buying them as mine recently and uh, I can get a clamshell like that for about half a real. Sometimes they're a little bit cheaper, sometimes they might go up to 0 0.6, but really not massively expensive. The Driscoll ones, by comparison, might be two real. So you can do this cheaper. I think she's just looking at uh, like the label and being like, I know that brand. Because I love berries. But I'm not... I gotta wash them first. I... Of all things, you're worried about washing them? Try They're washing your hands. I really like. They're good for me. You know, berries are like... Not that high in sugar, so... They're not. They have differing amounts on the glycemic index, glycemic load, all of that. But considering the other things she's pulled out of her bag, does that really matter at this point? I mean, it all matters. But, like, why is this the right. thing? You're like, okay, no, I'll be careful. Like, 
for example. All right, I got two no sugar added apple juices and these are for Salah because he loves juice with his breakfast. Uh, yeah, so I got him two of those. I find like, I've never tried the no sugar added. Um, so let me ask you then, if it's for your husband, your husband, and it's not for you, one, you don't have to wonder about never having tried it and being worried about if it's going to taste okay because you're not going to drink it. And two, there's no reason to get sugar-free because you're not going to drink it. It's for him. Get him the one he likes. Doesn't matter. If you've got a problem with uh, like chocolate bars, I can understand saying, hey, I really don't think I'm going to be able to resist these with juice. Nah, you'll be fine. He just likes it with his breakfast. It's not something you binge on. Except, oh... I think she's going to drink it. Well, my apple juice, we used to just buy the regular, and it was really sweet. It's delicious, but sweet. So they're not sugar added, I'm not sure, but probably still tons of sugar. Yeah, you probably shouldn't drink it. You're probably gonna. So another staple is yogurt. Just plain, fresh yogurt, one kg. Um, you know me, I eat this with like everything and we were out. So with pretty much like every meal, I just love the, the sour taste of it now. I love it. So usually we get the individual ones, but they were not on sale at this grocery store. They were like double the price what we normally pay. And this was only 450 fills for one kg. So that's a good deal. So fresh yogurt yes i was listening like, to this um just... podcast so does she tell us how much she spent on this while she's talking about how takeout is cheaper or did she not choose to put a number on that just like with like rice chicken anything i just eat a spoonful in between like eating my meal and it helps with digestion digestion also apparently so all right last bag uh-huh Oh, this smells good. This smells very banana-y. Chantel, seriously, I is saying the banana smell banana -y. Is this an Amberlynn Reed review? It's a bag of bananas, man. Oh, yeah. This is how I like my bananas. Like, really... Um... Wait, those are pre-packaged? You get those everywhere loose? Because they're not as sweet. So... I like my bananas a little bit green as well. Bananas. I know you're thinking those are loaded with sugar, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> I'm on my <laughs> Which is the important thing. She honestly doesn't care, and she's currently saying, I'm on my medication. So, you know, no worries about the diabetes. My medicine will do it. You're fine. I'll just eat what I want. My blood sugar's only 12 point something. It's perfectly normal. Because really, it's all about what Chantel wants, not that the impact it's going to have on her. Medication, no. Like, I... Yes, oh, no. I don't know. I've been loving bananas lately. I don't know why, but... Because you know you probably shouldn't have them, so your brain, in that twisted way it does, has been like, it's a fruit, I can have it. And you're justifying that just because people have said, hey, there are better choices. Now, I looked this up before I got too snarky, and I was like, okay, can diabetics actually have bananas? They can, again, moderate it as part of a controlled diet, and they recommend... Have a smaller banana, limit how many you have a day, and try and eat it with something else, like um, a healthy fat, a healthy protein, or whatever. So the peanut butter is actually not a bad match for this. But what gets me is that that's a lot of bananas. And she's living in a warm climate. Like, they're going to ripen quite quickly. So that means in the next few days, she's going to have to consume two kilos of bananas or throw them away. Fruit flies galore. Like, they're so good. They're just so good. I don't know. And so, like I said, with peanut butter, I like to eat them with peanut butter. Um, but yeah, I got two kgs of bananas. So, mm, they smell good. They smell like banana. No, what a <laughs> like shock. Banana runs or something. So, anyways, um, that's my little grocery haul. That's it. That's <laughs> all we're... We and nary, I'm looking at this list, nary a meal to be found. We really need... Um, so we still have a lot of drinks in the fridge and a lot of water, which I drink. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just put this away now. Just thought I would show you 
you know, I like showing you guys, like, everything I buy. <laughs> but, yeah, I love watching grocery hauls. I can watch them for hours. Just interesting to see what people buy for their families and for themselves. Um, you know, so. Anyway, back, back to binge watching my show after I put these away. So, guys, um, yeah, so I'm probably just not, like, I'm not going to cook for a little while. I'm just going to be ordering so I can show you guys, like, what kind of stuff I eat. Um... But no mukbangs, right? Even though she's literally eaten on Something camera like that, already. But nothing fancy, you know? Kind of the same things. Yeah, and the, like, I've got a loaf of bread, probably gonna have like a toasted cheese um, with a side of berries or something like that. If I get hungry, so like, carbs and outside fat of what we order. With a side of some sugar. Or some pickles for a snack. And sodium. Um, something like that. Very simple. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. All right, I'm not shocked because she's lazy and also because she's using it as an excuse so I don't know how expensive it was. But um, I'm a little shocked that she didn't just put a price on it given that was a major point of conversation. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm interrupting myself here saying I can't believe she didn't put the price on because I remembered Hang on, she's done this before and she's ended up putting the price in a comment or in the description. And she had indeed commented. She said it was 14 Kuwaiti dinar. I can't remember what the conversion was. Let me look it up for you. Let's do USD just to help people out. 45 USD. I, I don't know what that is in Canadian. I'm not about to do it in, in anything else. So I know most people who watch are American, so whatever. Uh, 14k WD is what the total was that does seem kind of expensive to me but but with the stuff she buys I can see why I'm sure she could do it a little cheaper than she has but I suppose it doesn't really matter at the end of the day it's her money to spend so it's not down to me to say hey you can't spend this but I do obviously wonder as to her choices even though they're hers to make when you look at the quality of the things she's bought. Now, I'm sure she'd tell us it's none of your business, but she makes it our business. So here is our response. All right, everyone. Other than that, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to get this edited. I'm going to take my makeup off because I went a bit hard on it today. <laughs> I did this for the camera, not for school. But uh, I was listening to Pulpy. I'm going to finish listening to him, actually. And I was listening, and as I was going, and then I looked up, and I was like, oh, I kind of went full out. All right, don't worry about it. <laughs> Hopefully I will see you again soon because I'm trying in these last week, week and a half to just separate all my schoolwork into my work day because I feel that I'm at a point where we can do that now. I've like done enough deadlines of the things I've got left. Like I'm putting, I've got a quarter of my report cards into the system now. I feel like I can finish them at work. Fingers crossed. I actually just said home by accident and I was like, no, that's the opposite of what I didn't want to do but with a little bit more home time being dedicated to personal things, um, it means hopefully I'll be able to do a few more reacts and obviously the sun's coming. So thanks so much for being here. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.